Hi friends, in this session we will see how to find out the mean of raw data. Uh, here we find first the mean of raw data by direct method. Direct method, we find it out first. So, we have a data. Uh, data is given to us uh, uh, the marks obtained by the students in an examination. So, 45, 59, 38, 68, 72 and uh, 69. In the six subjects, a student got these marks. So, we see that uh, how we get the mean of this data. So, what we have to see, these terms are called x. The terms are denoted by x. So, we can say that x1 is equal to 45, x2 is equal to 59 x3 is equal to 38, x3 is equal to 38, x4 is equal to 68, x5 is equal to 72 and x6 is equal to 69. These are the data they have given. Now, we have to find out the mean. So, mean we denote by this x bar. x bar is equal to summation of x over n. n is the total number of terms are here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 is the n, total number of term is 6. So, n is equal to 6 here. So, x bar, if we denote by this by x1 plus x, summation of x is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus s6 over, we know that there are total number of terms are 6. So, we have to put here 6 instead of n. So, x bar is equal to, we have to put these values here, 45. 59, 38, 68, 72 and 69 over 6. So, we calculate this, we get here 45 plus 59 plus 38 plus 68 plus 72 plus 69. So, we get here 351. We get here the summation of these are 351 over 6. This is the x bar. So, let us see here if we simplify this x bar, we get 58.5 would be the mean marks of the student in the examination. So, in this way we could easily find out by direct method the mean of raw data, arithmetic mean of raw data. Now, let us see how we get the mean of raw data through shortcut method. So, I explain you here the shortcut method. Let us see here. at this. Uh, this is our x, they have given us the terms. Let us change the color here first. Put here white 
x so i write down x here we see what happens with 45 59 38 45 59 38 68 72 69 this data they have given us so in shortcut method we have the formula x bar is equal to a plus summation of d a over n. Here I explain you a is assumed mean assumed mean d a is deviation from assumed mean deviation of data from assumed mean and n is total number of data data so this is n so here i explained da is x minus a so what we have to do here we have to assume any number from this data or outside this data you can assume as a so i am assuming 38 as as you mean so we get here da da which is x minus a so we get here x minus a 45 minus 38 it is 7 now positive 7 59 minus 38 it is 21 uh, sorry uh, 21 it is 21 now there is 0 and 68 minus 38 we see here we get here 0 330 here we get 4 34 here we get 31 so this we have got here uh, what we have to do uh, first uh, we have to find out the summation of this da you look at in this formula the summation of da we have to find out so we have to make the summation of this summation of summation of d a so we get here it is 28 58 58 or oh, 58 and 60 120 108 108 and 5 113 we get here 113 uh, i just check it now again so 7 plus 21 plus 30 plus 34 plus 31 it is sorry 123 the summation is 123 is here so let us put in this formula here uh, x bar is equal to the assumed mean is 38 here you see look at this a and this is the formula I putting here instead of a 38 plus summation of f d a summation of d a is 23 here so i am substituting here 123 and n is 6 here so we see what happens here now we simplify this now x bar is equal to 38 plus 20.5 plus 25.5 we simplify this again so it is 58.5 this is the arithmetic mean of given data by shortcut method so you see here it is also 58.5 it is also 58.5 if you take any method if you select any method to solve the arithmetic mean you will get always the same mean there would not be any change in the mean
value of data. So it is a way to find out the arithmetic mean of raw data by direct method and by shortcut method.